everyone, my name is Dora Herceg and I'm a medical student from School of Medicine, University of Zagreb, Croatia. Today's topic will be a case report on hiccups, psychosomatic symptom, a typical symptom of COVID-19 infection or side effect of dexamethasone. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to ravage worldwide, new data shows a multitude of symptoms that were not reported previously. It is well known that the primary symptoms tied to the coronavirus disease are fever, cough, and difficulty of breathing. As time passed by, other symptoms emerged, including the loss of smell and taste, fatigue, body pains, headache, hair loss, and even a rash in the mouth. Persistent hiccups were also reported as an unusual COVID-19 symptom, as the first case published in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine. Hiccups are involuntary spastic contractions of the diaphragm, and intercostal muscles, followed by the rapid closing of the glottis and generally a self-limited disorder. Hiccups can be caused by many triggering factors. In our case, a 68-year-old male with a past medical history of obesity, hypertension, and stroke had COVID-19 infection. He was febrile to 38.6 degrees Celsius and mildly tachycardic with a heart rate of 110 beats per minute. He was placed on contact and airborne isolation and started on 500 mg paracetamol and 10 mg dexamethasone twice daily. Symptomatic care was continued and the patient was emotionally altered and anxious due to the disease. Two days after start starting therapy, he started to have persistent hiccups. After psychiatric assessment, complaint of hiccups was considered to be a finding of a psychosomatic disorder. He had many stressful problems related to COVID-19 infection. Antipsychotic therapy was applied in the form of sulfurit tab tablets of 50 mg twice a day. Two days after the beginning of the treatment, hiccups gradually decreased and stopped. In this case, the question of the cause of hiccups arises. Is it an atypical symptom of COVID-19 infection, a side effect of dexamethasone, or is it a psychosomatic symptom due to the patient's strong anxiety and fear related to the infectious disease? The patient did not respond to conventional clomipramine therapy. However, the patient responded well to treatment with the atypical antipsychotic sulfurid with continued dexamethasone and paracetamol therapy. Regardless of what caused the hiccups, the antipsychotic sulfurid proved to be the drug of choice. It is a low potent atypical antipsychotic which acts as a neurovegetative stabilizer when applied in low doses. In conclusion, psychosomatic disorder should be considered to be the underlying cause of intractable hiccups. And antipsychotic therapy can be considered for patients with intractable hiccups refractory to conventional therapy. I would like to thank you for your attention.